Hello everyone, and welcome to uh, Rockwin once again, where in the last episode we had entered this place. Where is this place, you might be wondering? Well, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> uh, we have all three of the levers pulled, so I don't need to do that. Um, so yeah, we're, we're in a weird place. Um, I believe last episode and stream, um, we had come here um, and uh, done a few things. This is stationary paper has been placed here. Read it. Remember before it was taken from me. That's right. I have these things written down. Uh, da -da, assortments of daily grammar and so on. This cabinet is locked. Uh, this cabinet is empty because I think I already searched that cabinet. Uh, for restoration. Still dealing with rust after the flooding? Simply mix together hydrogen peroxide and cream of tartar to create a solution to remove rust from metallic objects. So we did get the cream of tartar. Uh, let's go ahead and use the glass beaker with that. So we still need the hydrogen peroxide. It is somewhere. I don't immediately remember where, but we did find Ar uh, Arkham uh, 5. <laughs> Door is busted shut, so I can't get to that. I think it appears to be broken. So something is stuck inside. I used the wrench to disassemble the faucet. Hey, I found a bookshelf cabinet key. Awesome. I forgot we picked up a wrench. I knew there was some way to open up that sink, but I could not remember. But we have the wrench. That's how you do it. <laughs> oh, I don't have the uh, the stream up. There we go. Whoops, that's still the glass beaker. Bookshelf cabinet. Open that up, and there's the hydrogen peroxide we need. All right. Mix them together to make the solution. And we have the vial, so now we have solution. Awesome. Now we can deal with rust. And I don't think any of these were rusted. Whoops, didn't mean to reread that for like billionth time. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very interesting game. Um, like I said, I have played Oh, excuse me, I have played through it once all the way through. It's a solution to remove the rust. You can now open the locker. A piece of paper that appears to have been taken out of someone's journal. The paper is warm. You can make out a few words. What's done is done. So the word is is marked out in red here. So my is. So that's interesting. My is. That's what we have so far in red. Oh, and home, apparently. My is and home. To be honest, I don't think I ever figured out this puzzle. The my is home thing. Because um, I'm looking at my notes here from my... Whoa, I didn't know I could light that up. Okay. Um, I'm looking at my notes from the last time. Uh, that's all I have written down here, too. <laughs> is my is and home. So I'm not actually sure I found any of the other words to this puzzle. Um, I'm definitely going to keep trying to look I around. I think I want to know what's at home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you remove the rust with a solution and open the locker. I found an empty bucket inside. Yay! We found a bucket. Uh, that door is, is locked. Bucket? Hmm? Is it a Mr. Bucket? <laughs> No, it's an empty bucket, which I can use to then fill with water, and I can water this plant here. Healthy house plant. So this is the point of filling the sinks with water. You fill the sink with water, and then you use the bucket to get the water. Also, I did not water that plant the last time I played this, so I have no idea what that just did. Hopefully it unlocked something I've not seen yet. Why can't I host the channel? Twitch. Hmm. Yeah, that's there it goes. Now you're hosting. Yep. Uh, Tattle just told me you're hosting. 
my sound for just about everything is uh, Tattle from Majora's Mask. Empty the yeah, full bucket into the small pipe. Event too. Hmm? Use the event list too. Yeah. I now reach the like, wooden key. Hmm? I like using that too. Helps me keep track of who raided or host. Yeah, it is nice. And what I like to do is I like to promote people who host or raid me. Right. Definitely. Definitely. It's my way of saying thanks. All right. I don't want to go in that door anyway because that's the thing. So. And I can't move these boxes around. Oh, phone's ringing. Two seconds. Zero. Ring, 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 ring. Phone call. Phone call. <laughs> me three. <laughs> Okay, so that's Bring something it. new. Two seconds. Yeah. Ring, 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 ring. Three. Oh no, that's not something new. Okay, I have that written down. I actually do have that written down already in my notes. I thought that was connected to something else, but it's not. Oh, there's an envoy. Door to the envoy is locked. It's probably a good thing. The envoy can't reach me. Two boxes inside. Check the first box. Postcard from Busan, Korea, and a small piece of paper labeled JR East Pass Limited Express. Recommended for travel to Aomori, Sendai, and Niigata. Second box. Torn document detailing a student exchange program sponsored by the Korean government. Requirements for application. Korean students studying abroad in Japan will be given a monthly stipend and assistance with relocation costs. Hmm. In the locker, a stack of newspaper clippings have been stapled together and taped to the inside of the locker. Page 1 is torn. 15th of March, APN. Those search parties continue amidst the wreckage. Officials say that they have a difficult time navigating the more severely blank. 19th of March, already strapped for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Hey, we've seen that one before. For reporting and inquiring about missing persons, this number. Hmm. Okay. On four. I've seen that one now. I do know what all of those are. It is the answer to a puzzle. Hey, I can reach the phone in time. Gemma, do you remember your password? You really couldn't have chosen a more tragic day to meet him. By now, I'm sure it's as clear as the writing on the wall. Meet Two. Time 1446.23, height 40.5 meters, people 11,450. Dang. Well, yeah, that number was marked in red for some reason. 20,000 Korean students in Japan, and the number is increasing. And while tensions between Japan and Korea are unlikely to disappear completely, we hope the two nations will continue to move towards friendship through such programs as the student exchange. That cabinet is empty. All right. How about that? This one says meet two. I already looked at that apparently. Pull the lever. Nearby door has opened. An empty bucket. Oh, the door that had the envoy is now open and there is no longer an envoy. Mm. So there seems to be a phrase here on the wall. Elspe, meet me on Arkham He. And now the phone's ringing again. Heventlet 6. And I missed the phone call because I was up here. My legible ticket contains the words Korean Naval Port Festival. Unmarked blood samples, old microscope. There we go, there's the whole phrase. If only we could decipher it. That said, I do know the answer already. This is currently locked. The hyperbaric oxygen therapy room is now closed. How interesting. Oh my. I think I'm hungry or something with how my stomach is acting right now. 
midnight snack. <laughs> He's filled with cherry blossoms. And a new microscope. Do that, a midnight snack. <laughs> you have three new messages. Please enter your password to listen to your messages. Access denied. Hint in case I lose my voicemail password. Calendar date I'm looking forward to the most. Alright, so... The, uh, the message on the wall actually reads, Please meet me on March 11th. Which means that the password is 3 and 11. March and 11th. 311. First message, Gemma, where are you? We've been trying to get in touch with you all week. Haven't you been watching the news? I think you should come home, just to be safe. Anyways, please call me back. I'm really worried about you. Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing, and I understand, but it's not safe to go there right now. You know this. Call me back, okay? Please. Third message, please bring Gemma to the hyperbaric oxygen therapy room this morning, and we can... Get started with her first session. The monoplace chamber has an air mask that will need to be set to 21%. It's a very important step in preventing oxygen toxicity. Dr. Yoshida and the team will be there to facilitate. Hmm. Alright, I wonder if that means that the oxygen hyperbolic chamber is open. It is! So does that mean we need to set it to 21%? Don't pull the third lever or we'll all be underwater. Okay, there's something new. So... Oh! I get it. Okay. I get it. <sighs> I get it. Let me just write this down. Um, so... The, uh... I'm not sure if this is actually what this is referencing. Um, but the name of the track for when you are doing the underwater sections, um, whoopsie, I dropped my pen. One second, I have to go where I went, because I'm probably going to need to make more notes. Uh, seriously? Where'd it go? There it is. Way the heck over there. Ah, got it. Okay. So the, the name for the track when you're underwater, um, the, the particular name on the soundtrack for that is My Home is Underwater. <coughs> so, Gemma, where are you? We're running out of time. What an obvious title. <laughs> Hyperbaric Oxygen Chamber Control Panel. Please input the oxygen level, 21. Monoplace chamber air brake mask oxygen levels now set to 21%. Hey, a rock wind door. Or a Morizora forest door, rather. Not rock wind. Oh, I'm done here. Gemma! I'm so glad to see you. Ugh, what a weird week it's been. It's a uh, Lebo Trade Villager, or maybe it's an Ilbo Village? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Can't help but feel uncomfortable with all these Kenko walking around. They've been here for three days. When are they going to leave? Oh, I don't really mind. It's fun when the Kenko come to trade with us, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose. But still, you've heard about what the Kenko are like. They're no good. I'll be happy when they're gone. I don't trust the Kanko. I wish they would leave already. The Kanko don't belong here. I don't care what kind of goods they bring from across the Great River. It's of no use to me. Oh, hey, Gemma. How have you been? It looks like the uh, Lebo trade villagers don't like the uh, Kanko Lebo. Man, I love being able to trade with the Kanko, but there's always a part of me that can't wait until they leave our lands. Good morning, dear. How are you this fine morning? Good, thank you. I just stopped by to see what the Kanko traders brought this time. Hmm, yes, well, please be careful, Gemma. The Kanko labels may look like us, but inside they are very different. They aren't to be trusted. Of course, Elder. Hmm. 
Kenko Carpenter. Would you believe that it took 500 syllabaries to dye that cloth? I helped my mom dye it, and my hands were purple for weeks. Haha! <laughs> oh, um... Are you okay? Do you need help with anything? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm not supposed to... Not supposed to talk to strangers? I understand. Well, my name is Winston. I'm Gemma. No, we're not strangers anymore. Hey, do you like flowers? Oh, I love them. I have a garden at home I tend to every day. Now that we're not strangers anymore, I have a gift for you. Come with me. <sighs> oh, I'm in control. Okay. I was confused because I like wasn't in control, but then I was. And so I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Flowers, a door, bunch of carpentry stuff. Also, I'm no longer Gemma. I'm back to being the boy. I like keep transitioning between whether I'm playing as the boy or playing as another character. I just broke open the floor here. Would you like to jump down? This track here that plays during this section, this track is called My Home is Underwater. So that's interesting that that was in there. That sounds familiar. There we go. And I have turned off the water again. Also, you can turn the water back on. I've done that before. She walk over to the Where switch. Are the dead hands. She <laughs> walk over to the switch. I can refill it, and then you know you have thirty seconds to flip the switch again. It's kind of pointless to restart the water, but you can do that if you feel like it for some reason. There's no path there. This is the gate key that I needed. And into yet another Morizora Forest door. And I'm Gemma again. Gemma, you made it. I was so worried about you. Aw. I've been waiting all spring to share this with you. Come, this way. They shouldn't be able to see us from here. Ever heard of the Hikaribana? No, I haven't. Hikaribana is the name of the Kanko tribe's most important festival. It's named after a very special flower that grows every spring. Look down by the riverbank. Do you see those big flowers? Winston, they're so beautiful. And they're glowing. Every year, the Kanko luna flies lay their eggs inside those flowers. Come spring, the eggs hatch, and the luna flies flee to feed off the nectar inside. But until they learn how to fly, the luna flies are weak and vulnerable. So it's the luna flies that make the flowers glow? Yes, but the really special part is about to begin. The luna flies and the hikaribana are actually very good friends, you know. What do you mean? In return for food and shelter, the luna flies help the hikaribana before they fly away. As they practice learning how to fly, they literally lift the flower up with them. You're lying. No, no, it's really true. As the flower floats through the air, the luna flies fluttering, fluttering wings help spread the flower's pollen across the land. Gemma, look. Ooh, well, the flower is glowing bright. And it's flying. It's flying. The luna flies are making it float. Oh, now they all are. I 
I've never seen anything like this in all my life. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Winston. Hang on. I just realized I don't even have the Google timer visible because I had the chat and OBS on top of it. So glad you could finally see it. Hey, is there someone over there? Uh oh, they heard us. Quick, follow me. And I'm back in control again. Which means now we're back to being the boy again. Every time we take control, it seems like it swaps to us being the boy afterwards. Looks like someone's letter. Read it. Hi, Mom and Dad. How are you? I'm really enjoying studying abroad here in Japan. The people are nice. I'm getting good grades. I sure miss the Korean food, though. Did you know that at Korean restaurants here, they make you buy the appetizers? Even the kimchi. Isn't that weird? Oh, and I met a girl. I really like her a lot. I'm sure you will, too. Anyways, I'd better get going. Take care. Love you both. Winston. Open the locker. Stack of newspaper clippings. 12th of March. Police have confirmed 1,480 people missing across the affected areas. It is feared that the final death count could rise sharply once a full picture of the catastrophe emerges. Yeesh. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. 15th of March. It only took a few minutes for the 30 feet wave to wash the town away with terrifying force. Hmm. Sounds like something very bad happened. Up the empty bucket. Water the plant. Looks like the plant is still thirsty. Okay. I hope that I got that other plant watered enough then. I didn't realize this one took multiple buckets. Climb up? Sure, why not? So here's hoping I got that other one. Large toy bear with two heart shaped pink get well balloons. Aww. Door to Morizor's forest. Uh, now we're playing, still playing as uh, Gemma. Winston, your mother and I have noticed that, well, you've been spending a lot of time with that Lebo girl, Gemma. Still can't tell if it's Ebo because you're like Ilbo, like, because it's an I, or if it's supposed to be L, because it, it seems like that would be uppercase, but I don't know. Like, maybe it's, eh, I dropped something. Maybe it's I-L-B-O, Ilbo. I don't know. Yes, I really enjoy spending time with her. I feel like we have a bond. I've never felt that before. Well, we're happy that you found a good friend. But Winston, she is a friend. Right? Sometimes I have a Winston, for open-minded labels, we know that trading with the Ilbo tried to have tribe has many benefits. I bought some very nice artwork from an Ilbo woman. Why are you telling me this? Winston, you're young. There are a lot of things in this world that you don't understand. That's it. I know her. Old enough to know that I love her. You lost your mind. There's my PS4. No. I've never been more sure of anything in all my life. Do you even remember what the Ilbo did to us? To our people? Mm -hmm. What they show you and how they are inside are completely different. You may think you can trust them, but you can't. So as you can see, I played in my face. Yeah. And he needs to hear this. It's for his own good. No. And the best thing about what did you say? Gemma is not like that. You don't That's need to manage how she is. Plug and play. You leave me no choice. You are no longer allowed to see Gemma, not as friends, not as anything. Okay. 
And another door to Morizora's forest. Or somewhere? Back to the hospital. Okay. Patient log. Gemma will have to be transferred as we cannot provide necessary treatment for her at this facility. They hate me. Did he really come for me? I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. Whoop. That was me that just went through that door. But like a dark me. Oh, crap. I remember this part. Hope that help will arrive soon. My staff has been working 24-hour shifts just to keep things moving. Without electricity and with our medical supplies dwindling, I fear the worst. But I will not give up hope. Oh, crap. That was an envoy that just got me. Luckily, every time one of the envoy hits you, it gets rid of that particular envoy, but it can be a little problematic getting around here. Especially that very first envoy, because it just goes straight for you. Okay. On to avoid that envoy. There's another one. I think that one goes down. Okay. Avoiding. Avoiding. Okay. This is problematic. To like go very fast because it immediately just turns around. <laughs> Open the locker. A weather journal lays by itself on the locker shelf. 20th of March. Our small generators are pumping water out of the, of the basement at a rate of about a centimeter an hour. We can compensate for some of our losses by improvising. Unfortunately, we still lost 11 patients this week to the harsh conditions. Climb on down. There's an envoy. Okay, at least I don't have to worry about it touching me. As long as I stay on the edges. Can I get through this gate? That door is locked. How about that? When I, I tried First cable didn't be building. down here yet. I think that it was, was something up there. I was down from my router, um, so that's for the internet connection on it. It will automatically detect which cable has the internet connection. Let's follow right behind the envoy and then move. That's that. So in my case, I only here it is, guys. The five port gigabit Ethernet switch by Netgear. The model number is the GS two zero five. You got the Netgear logo on F top. Break rotation and update. Do you still remember me when this is all over? Powering. Hmm. Those are Online. also marked in red. Yeah. So in my case, I only have one hmm. Ethernet, which is directly connected. Did to I top. not finish? So basically, have that this one after cable all? around my devices when I need the extra speed. Sometimes I'll have it plugged into my smart TV, my TV box, my PS4. It can only be used in one device at a time. I'm only limited to one port. But with this internet connection... Yeah, your microphone is definitely picking up on somebody. <laughs> All staff, hospital staff, urgent. To open the store, you must turn on both of the door light bulbs. Right light bulb is red, left light bulb is green. Right is red, left is green. I have access to four additional... Can't get in there. Oh boy. That envoy almost got to me. Where do I go from here? I'm so confused. I can't get downstairs, can I? I just tried that. Can't get around here either. Alright, wait for this envoy to come back up. And let's uh, try heading back downstairs again. Gotta be something down here, right? Maybe I just missed something. Full speed ports on the back. So there's my PS4 clear and spikes. Android TV box, and I still got two further connections I can use. Oh, I just went underwater. Oh, I can go underwater though. Okay, so I bet I have to hit the switch. Software and train thing. Yep, okay. Now I need to get out of the water. That was exactly what I was supposed to do. I have to get out of the water now before I drown. Got eight seconds. Got it. That uh, opened up the spikes. Good. So right is red. Left is green. 
auxiliary room right. I'm on up. March 12th. I ventured into the basement today. Much to my dismay, I found that we had lost far more supplies than I had expected. At this rate, we'll have to relocate several of our patients, but I fear the transfer would be the death of many of them. The table is covered with crisis management pamphlets and empty first aid kits. Hmm. Faded letter inside the cabinet. I don't care what they say. I know in my heart that this is right. When I've saved up enough, I will return to the place we first met. And we can start a new life together away from all of this. Red. The light is red. And the light is on here. So that's probably what I want. Don't like how that envoy just starts right there. <laughs> and so this one's got to be green. Let's read this book. March 19th. How long will it be before help arrives? We wrap them in blankets. We work 24 hour shifts. Unless we receive help, I don't think we can hold out much longer. Red, blue, green. That light is now green. And that opened up that door all the way over there. Cool. And that door is still locked. Because I need to go upstairs, I think. That's where the door opens. No! I'm out of ports on my router. All my ports are already full because I've connected them to all my other computers. What am I going to do? This is where the Ethernet switch comes in handy. As you can see, the Ethernet switch just has a bunch of ports on it. So to connect to the network, what I have to do is first take one of the ports that are already the water pump. Start draining water? Yes. Hey, that should have drained the water down there. On my route. Watch out for the envoys. Did I mention that I don't like the envoy? <laughs> and then the other side. The envoy are not nice creatures. No, it doesn't really matter where you connect the cables to, as long as the order is correct. The specific port is of no importance. So as long as I connected switch the router, everything that's connected to the switch. Also All right, let's Please. see. Frick. I done goofed. That, like that. There we go. All right. I don't know what that opened. Because <laughs> I don't remember this part. I actually know. I think I know what that opened. Now that I'm thinking about it. Whoops. My controller was pointed in the wrong direction. I started walking in into the wall. Climbing on up, climbing on up. Oh, envoy. You really do have to kind of wait for that thing. Some of those go very fast. Nope, that's not the door that opened. That door is still locked. I actually have no idea what if that opened then. I could have sworn it was that door, but it was not. So what did that even open? I'm very confused. Hmm. Even though it didn't open this, did it? No, oh, that's that. Okay. What? Over question mark? Home is underwater. The ports that are on the router. Now I have to just connect my laptop over hmm. the switch. And I'm done. Maybe it opened Everybody something on. here. Oh, I bet it opened switch. Switch. this. Switch. Right? Switch. This wasn't open before? Switch. On the what is this? Now, this is a really good trick if you have, for example, another yes, that was it. Bunch of computers in it. You want to connect your network, not wirelessly, but with an actual cable. This means you oh can crap, this part. Cable over that roof. You're gonna have to move them. They won't make it through the night. Take the back exit and check the staff bulletin boards for access codes. If the water doesn't reach the second floor, we should be okay, but we'll hang out as long as we can. Go now, before it's too... 
contaminated blood cells. Something written over there on the wall. I don't know what it says. Emergency exit code update gate B1289. Oh, it's won't survive the night like backwards. That's what it is. March 1480? Hmm. Crap, I forgot the numbers. So glad that the developer didn't realize that you could walk through those faces. 289. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, this is not the pen I was just using because it's not writing. 289. <sighs> Envoy. This is where I get chased by Envoy. <coughs> Door is locked. Whoops, I tried to speed through. Two, eight, nine. Pass code accepted. Yay, I made it past those ones. Oh, I guess they can be unavoidable. Hmm? <laughs> I guess it could be unavoidable. <laughs> Emergency exit code 371. I have a sheet of paper with everything written down. Oh, there's more envoys. Three, seven, one. Whoa! Whoa! Something bad's happening. It's Gemma and Winston. Winston of the Canco. Gemma of the Ilbel. Even though your families disapprove of your union, the heart of the forest has heard your pleas. Because your feelings for one another are pure and true, Moizora has allowed me to perform the ceremony of the envoy. That today in the forest, you may be wed. I'm so happy right now. I want nothing more in the world than to be here with you. Parting today will be the most difficult thing I've ever done. But I promise you, Gemma, once we've talked, once we've walked through all the seasons once more, I will meet you on the River Isle, and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Hurry, Gemma. You must go now before your family finds us. I love you. And I, you. Be safe, Gemma. And now we're back in control of the boy again. But I promise you, Gemma, once we've walked through all the seasons once more, from spring until winter, I will meet you where we first met, and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Okay, so this one is... This one was a little complicated, but I know the answer to this one. So when you turn on these lights, you get this little cool, like, effect going on. And you have to turn these lights on in the proper order. So that one was spring. And that is not a door. This is the door. This one is summer. Page from a pamphlet titled Sendai Summer Events Tanabata Star Festival. It has a thin strip of brightly colored paper with some writing on it. Goshiki, Goshiki no Tanzaku Watashi ga Kaita. Ohoshi sama kira kira sorakara miteru. Hmm. I English, please. <laughs> Nani? 
<laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I do have Google Translate. Uh, I could... They're already connected to the network. I could try to... Uh, yeah. to, to Google Translate this. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Let me just load up Google Translate real fast. So yeah. it's... Goshiki. My. Router. No. No, it doesn't really matter where you connect it. Zaku. Order is correct. The specific port is of no importance. Okay, so I really don't point. think that's what that says. <laughs> because according to this, that says bunny sauce. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Just saying. Method. Uh, Goshiki no Tenzaku Watashi ga Kaitu. Basically, the switch just extends. Nope. The okay, that didn't work. I was trying to use my um, thingy. Uh, Google tra the Google Translate on my tablet here allows me to um, like just speak it and I can read it. Like it'll type it in for me, but that didn't work. So. Okay, so bunny sauce, and then I caught it. I don't think this is translating correctly. <laughs> Ohoshi sama. I know what that means. That's a like a name. Kira, Kira. Okay. That says it translates to Twinkle Twinkle. I don't think that's right either. Sora Kara Miteru. <laughs> I don't think this is right. Uh oh. What According to say? Google Translate, this says from the, the first message to the last, bunny sauce. I caught it. Twinkle, twinkle, look from the sky. <laughs> I don't, for some reason, I don't think that's right. <laughs> now, see, if I translate this differently by, like, doing each individual word, I get, Ohoshi-sama means dear stars. And this then Kira, a Kira. Work in sharing center. Whoops, I didn't type that oh, right. Kira... Not bad Kira means glitter. Dear stars, glitter. Right into my Sora, uh, USB 3.0 adapter that goes sky. Into the TV. Kara from and Miteru, I am watching. So, <clears throat> dear skies, glow. Dear skies, glowing. I am watching the sky, is what that says. Let's try translating. Cause I, I tried translating the, the main song that's in this, uh, Mori no Kokoro, and it did not translate in Google Translate. But when I wrote each one individually, it worked. So, Goshiki is five colors. Noah's of, I know that. Tanzaka? Is Tanzak or Tanzaku? Sorry, I typed that wrong. So, strip of the five colors. Watashi is me. It's the female me. Ga but kaita. But. Right. So. I wrote. Hang on, Watashi ga. Still translates as just as I, Kaita. I caught it. Kaita wrote. What? Sorry, I'm still looking this up here. Watashi ga. Okay. I don't think I would trust Google Translate. Yeah, it's, it, it's definitely not. I don't think I definitely don't think it's translating correctly. <laughs> there's a I'm, video. There's, there's, <laughs> there's a channel on YouTube that does a Google Translate song. 
I've never seen them. It's hilarious. Right. Um, so I think that it's trying to say that on a strip of five colors, the person wrote something and then they were watching the sky. We received a shipment of persimmons from a generous farmer. I'm enjoying the sweet autumn treat in the staff room. A box of tissues. Can't check the cabinet. It's just a box of tissues. And so that was fall. And this is winter. Like, you know that song, Let It Go? Yeah. And on Google Translate, the chorus goes, oh, what is it? Give up, give up, you cannot do it back in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these camellia flowers. They're the only ones in my garden that bloom during the winter. Nice. All right, so the door is open. But, yeah, wow. <laughs> I mean, okay, Google Translate is not the most reliable, but I, I have seen, like, it translate well sometimes, but, like, wow. <laughs> like, it, it did not... It did not translate any of those lines at all properly. And maybe it's just because I was using the tablet version and not the, like, web version. But, like, what the crap? Those did not translate. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Dear, wait. If we did this, Winston may never... If we do this, Winston may never forgive us. This is for his own good. I'm not letting my own son run off with an ilbow. I'm going to put a stop to this once and for all. Hey, Dad. Where are you going? Just out for a walk. I need some fresh air. With a packed bag? It's in case it gets late and I need to camp out. You're going to meet that Ilbo girl, aren't you? Don't lie to me. Her name is Gemma, and yes, I am going to meet her. We're going to go start a life together, far away from here. Dad, where are you going? Since you aren't mature enough to make these decisions on your own, I'm afraid I'm going to have to make them for you. What are you talking about? Dad? Dad, wait. It doesn't have to be like this. Huh? No! I literally just locked him in his room. Please don't do this. You have to let me out. Gemma. Meanwhile, with Gemma, we're on our way to a boat. Gemma! Don't try to stop me. Gemma, wait. Gemma, have you lost your mind? Please, I know what you're doing, and I understand. But it's not safe to go there right now. You know this. What other choice do I have? Mom and Dad would never allow me to be with a Kenko. Our whole tribe looks at him like he's some kind of a monster. But I love him. I'm sorry, sister, but I have to do this. Oh, that's the Hikari Bana. It hatched. I'll do whatever it takes to reach you. Smash through the window. Gemma!
And yeah. once again, another door to Morizora's forest. Gemma! Gemma, I'm so sorry I was late. I'm so afraid that your last conscious thought was that I had abandoned you. Gemma, if you can hear me, I never once stopped thinking of you. I promise I did everything in my power to reach you. Please, please know this. Hey, you kids okay? Hey, Chief, there's some kids on the beach. They don't look so good. It's Panky. Hmm? It's Gemma. But I'm me. Hello? Are you talking to me? Yes. Are you Gemma? You can hear me? Yes. Oh, this is such a great relief. The only person who seems to be able to hear me is an old man named Uma. I asked him if he would bring me something that was very dear to me. Your wedding ring? How did you know that? Winston thought someone had stolen it. He was so worried and very upset. I feel kind of bad now because I thought Uma had stolen it. Does this boy have a name? Uh, no, he actually goes by boy throughout the whole story. <laughs> so. Oh, so Richard. The boy and his mom both go by boy and mom throughout the whole game. <laughs> How original. Right? But I guess he actually was bringing it to you after all. Wait, you know my husband? Who, Winston? Oh, yeah. He's my neighbor. He's always been really nice to me. You know, he misses you a lot. Thank you for coming to visit me. It's really quite lonely these days. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. Your company has cheered me up greatly. Might I ask you one favor before you go? Of course. I would very much like for Winston to see what was inside the box next to my bed. It's locked, but you can open it with this. You received Gemma's box key. I'll make sure to open the box and bring him what's inside. Thank you so much. Gemma, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. When you feel lonely or scared, what do you do to feel better? Hmm, well, sometimes I hum this one song. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Oh, I love this part. Even with my eyes closed, I hear you speak to me. The lights that you shine stay with me. You learned Mori no Kokoro, part one. Take care, my friends. See you soon, Gemma. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you were asking who did the voice there for the mo the mother there at the beginning there when she was telling, reading the storybook. Mm -hmm. um, so, that song, that voice was 
also the same person, Laura Shigihara. Wow. <laughs> Um, so there's five songs through the game, and she sings three of them. So they're all different characters. Well, actually, there's four songs. Or she sings four songs. There's technically six songs in the game, but well, you'll understand later. Gemma's box. Hey, look, my mom's back. You use Gemma's box key to unlock the box. It's a Hikari Bana. What are you two doing in here? Wait, where did you get that? Did that come from Gemma's box? Uh, I... It was the flower that I sent to her. She received it. Then that means... She knew that I came for her. Thank you so much for showing this to me. It means more than you know. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to help the villagers before. I realize now that I must try my hardest every day. Come talk to me outside, and I'll see about building you that boat so that you can talk to Tony. Again, thank you. Yay! It's a Hikari Bana. Tiny envelope here. My dearest Gemma, I searched for days and was finally able to retrieve your ring. Perhaps once you regain consciousness, you can decide to... So decide for yourself whether or not you still want to wear it. Oh, I read that one already. Okay. I did, in fact, read that already. All right. How can I help you? Can you build us a boat? Sure thing. You'll be my first customer in ages. Bring me ten pieces of bamboo and a sail, and I'll get right to work. Danielle, the seamstress, will sew a sail for you if you give her this pattern. You received a sail pattern. Yay! So, 10 pieces of bamboo. I have 25 pieces of bamboo. Uh, apparently, I've been stockpiling bamboo up till now. So, I think we're good on that. <laughs> I just need the sail. That is Danielle. Hey, kiddo. Welcome to, this, to my store. Can you make me a sail? Wait, is that a sail pattern from Winston? Does that mean he's decided to start building boats again? Hmm. I think so. Well, that's certainly good news. Anyway, I can make you a boat, but you gotta bring me the materials. Tell you what, give me three sheets of coarse wool from the Sky Ranch and I'll do it. Sky Ranch? Uh, yeah, where they keep the coarse You look like you've never been there before. I haven't. Ha! Huh. Okay, kid, here's what you gotta do. Just find a really tall emerald beanstalk, and that should get you there. They usually grow at the top of the village, where the cliffs meet the, hora meet the horizon. Only problem is that the storm probably knocked most of them over, so the villagers have been planting new ones. Those might take a while to grow. J just a bit, yeah? Just a bit. Ah. <sighs> So we do know how to grow these things because of that last thing. Storm knocked over all the emerald bean stalks. That means travel between here and the skylines is on hold until we can grow some new ones. Half of those lives on those big islands up in here in the sky. Check it, check it out sometime. Well, once the sapling grows up. What if there was a way to speed up the process? Like, what if there was another world? An alternate universe, if you will. If we're altering things there would alter things here, but in completely unpredictable ways. I have a lot of time to think, okay? <laughs> So, this seems to take a little bit of inspiration from Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, where there are two worlds, and affecting something on one side affects something on the other side. So let's, uh, let's leave Moizora's Forest. I can never say that word properly. <laughs> Let's uh, use our bucket, because we figured out that if we use the bucket on these, they grow. A healthy house plant. But there's more than one of those. Let's look for more. I'm certain we can find at least one more. Oh, okay. Well, that's obnoxious. Google Timer apparently beeps very loudly when 
it uh, goes off. <laughs> I was not aware of that. Uh, oh, yep, here's another one. At least it doesn't swear at you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's true. Beep, beep, beep. Your timer beep up. So beep, <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> right. I don't. No, I don't have any more. Uh, uh, marbles. So that's two that are now grown. Let's see if there's any more. Uh, not in this room. And that's all the rooms I can get to. So I think that is all of them. But I'll go double check the cafeteria just in case. I don't think there's one in the cafeteria. No, there's not. Okay. Meow. Oh, the freshly made plushie toys. Hey, it's Danielle. What's up? These are like cats, right? I love them. Aren't they the best? I have like four of them at home. If it all goes well, I'll have lucky number five by the end of the year. Well, he did. Uh, Panky over here did say she was a crazy cat lady, so. She must oh really God. like clean the litter box. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Walk downward, please. I was pushing down, and the controller was not responding downward for some reason. So I kept going <laughs> left and right. <laughs> I don't know why. It just was not going down when I told it to. So, um, but you know what? Uh, I think this is a good spot to end this episode. Um, still going to do probably one more episode on stream. Uh, so... For those at the stream, please keep uh, watching. Um, but for those watching on YouTube, uh, well, uh, I have been streaming this. I'm not sure when this is going to go up. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish streaming it before I start uploading the videos. But I do stream, and a lot of my YouTube videos are recorded via the stream. So feel free to come by and check the stream. Um, Sorry, I had to have you start a little late. Yeah, I was no, testing on my channel. Yeah, well, like I said, I wanted to take a shower anyway, so... You can tell me about my channel if you want. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, also, make sure to check... Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in the video description to Sunny's channel as well. Uh, so you can go check her out. She's a streamer. Please subscribe to her <laughs> on Twitch. Um... And uh, with that, uh, we will see everyone in the next episode of Rockwin. See you all later.